Hey there. Welcome to another edition of the Smoking Den. I'm your host for this evening, Smokey Dan, and tonight we're going to be reviewing a rather special Altaldus product. This is the uh, Da Vinci masterpiece, uh, the Leonardo, that's their Churchill. It's marketed only through JR Cigars. Um, got this from a special deal, and I've read anywhere between it's a crap cigar and it's a really good cigar. Um, it definitely has some fancy packaging, as you can see, a glass tube, um, and beautiful, uh, beautiful band on it. So let's find out if, uh, if this is a good cigar that merits the packaging, or if it's just a marketing technique to get you to buy the thing. So, let's get rid of that, give a little, uh, Snip here. I'll tell you this wrapper, it's a um, chocolatey wrapper, incredibly veiny. Um, it's not quite as rough as you would think by looking at it. Um, and I gotta say, I'm curious to see how this is gonna pan out. It's a Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler, and an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. So let's uh, toast the foot up here, a little rotation, and uh, First impressions, at least in the draw. The draws may be a, I mean, when I see a smidgen, I really mean a little smidgen type, but it's not nearly bad enough to in any way detract from the experience of smoking it. Um, the wrapper's a bit brittle, but I have to say it's, uh, it's tasty. Um, it's mm, almost like a like a cocoa, sort of a natural cocoa flavor in the lips. You really get that that Sumatra really kicks in, I think. It's definitely the smoke is rough. Um, it's it's not especially smooth. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite as rough as smoking a lot of Mexican cigars like a basic Mataka or a Te Amo, but... Hmm. I'm getting some heat in the top palate, and that tends to be a sign of a cheaper cigar. But then again, this is a, uh, at least through JR, it's a cheaper cigar. These things are, uh, at least we got them on sale for $24.95 for a box of ten, and then uh, supposedly they retail for five dollars a piece. Mm. There are some nice flavors coming on in the back palate. Some, uh, I almost want to say a little bit of, a little bit of cocoa, almost a, um, a little teeny bit of cedar. Mm. Almost a little bit of, almost like a roasted meat flavor going on. Um, but you know what? We're a quarter inch now. Let me get back to you in just a little bit, and I'll give you my final verdict on if this is a POS or a, a piece to enjoy. All right, and we're back for the verdict for this uh, Da Vinci masterpiece Leonardo. And let's start off with the good on this thing. Um, the burn is gorgeous, the ash is beautiful, silvery, very nice, and the draws, um, it's a teeny bit looser, it's now pretty much effortless. Mm. And I gotta be honest, when I first lit it, I'm pretty sure that all that heat was coming from me overheating the cigar just a tad, because it's completely evened out on that end. But, not necessarily to the benefit, I think, of the cigar or me as the smoker. Um, 
Strength-wise, I'd read somewhere that this was considered a full-bodied cigar. Whoever wrote that was either five years old or smoking something besides the cigar before the cigar, because this is an incredibly mild cigar. Um, as far as taste goes, it's pretty much like smoking slightly cedary air. Mm. And when I mean cedary, I mean like cigar light cedary. It's a very tiny bit in the back and uh, mid palate. Um, it's really not that good of a cigar. I'm going to give it, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 4. Um, at $5 a stick, even all Taldus offers better mild alternatives. For example, the Romeo and Julieta Reserva Real. Um, or if you want to go with a Perdomo Champagne, that's a much better mild cigar. That said, the people that this is going to appeal to, and the only reason I can imagine that you'd want to buy this, is A, you can get it on sale at about $3 a stick, and B, you're having a big party with some friends, poker, bachelor's party, golf outing, whatever, and they're friends of yours that don't really smoke cigars or no cigars. Beautiful presentation, light, airy smoke. Um, if you're an experienced cigar smoker looking for an inexpensive cigar, go for um, one of your favorite bundled cigars for a yard car. This thing, I really wouldn't recommend it. I don't plan on smoking another. Um, until next time, happy smoking.